Hey guys, Diana here. Today we're going to do some everyday stretches. Uh, best to do before your workout, after your workout, morning, night, whatever works for you. Just try to remember every day, stretch. All right, so let's start down on the floor. Just a regular hamstring stretch, one leg forward. Uh, if you need to, you could bend your knee a little bit and just reach forward. Uh, hold each stretch to, for uh, 20, 30 seconds or five slow, deep breaths, okay? If you can, grab your foot, but you don't need to. Here. All right. Now, we're gonna keep the same position. I'm gonna have one hand on one side of my foot uh, this is going to be a really good side stretch. So reach over like this. If you can, you could put both hands on the side of your foot and look under your arm and twist up. Okay, a really good side stretch right here. All right, same position. We're just going to lean forward over this leg here, okay? Try to always have your back straight. Lean your chest forward. All right, let's go to the other leg. Like I said, if you need to bend your knee, if not, you can go straight. Position, hand on the side of your foot. You could reach up or you could reach on the side with both hands and look up. Okay, this is great for back pain, any tightness. Uh, this was a great stretch for me when I was pregnant. My back hurt horrible. So working each side separate and look up. Now again, leaning over this leg right here. I'm gonna do everything once. It's better if you do it two or three times, okay? But for this video, I'm just gonna do it once on each side. Chest forward, back straight. All right. So another great one for back pain. Sciatic nerve stretch, I'm gonna Cross one leg over the other leg. Have your back straight all the time, chest up. Now, if this is hard for some people, you could bring this leg out a little bit, okay? If not, you can bring it up and have this foot straight, everything 90 degrees. All right, let's switch legs. Back straight, guys. Okay, now, like I said, if this is a little bit hard for some people, even if you have your leg a little bit straight, you could always just cross one leg over the other and pull your leg across your chest, okay? Have your back really straight and you're really gonna feel the pull right here in the leg. All right, let's switch legs. Make sure you breathe. Okay, so this is my favorite stretch. Okay, we're gonna lay flat down in the floor and it's twist. It's better if there's not a wall there. You go this way. So one leg up, one hand straight across, and twist. And do a big exhale as you go down. And remember, you don't want to bring your shoulder blades off the floor, okay? All 
All right, let's switch legs. Look over to the opposite side. All right, perfect. Okay, now for the hip flexors. Everybody sits all day long. Right now we're in quarantine and we're sitting on the couch. When we're not in quarantine, we're at work and we're sitting in an office, right? Or whatever you guys do, but we're usually sitting in a car, whatever it is, okay? So that means your hips are gonna get really tight. So for your posture, if you wanna stand up really straight, uh, you have to stretch your hip flexors so you're not leaning forward, okay? So one foot forward. Uh, squeeze your glute in order to uh, relax the hip flexor. Lean forward, back straight. You could raise one arm and you could lean a little bit to the side and you'll feel a good stretch down the lat. And really focus on the hip flexor. Uh, I really like to bring my foot out to the side a little bit and you can feel a little bit more in the groin area. Alright, switching sides. I'm gonna bring my foot out a little bit to the side. Squeeze your glute. Release the tension in your hip flexor. Reach up. Lean a little bit to the side. And you could even go a little bit diagonal so that you feel it in the groin area. And move around. Everybody's a little bit different wherever you're gonna feel the stretch the best for you. Take deep breaths. All right, good job, guys. Okay, so I am gonna do a calf stretch. I'm gonna use this foam roller here. Uh, you guys could use anything, a cup, um, just the wall if you want to. So bring your toes up. Two different ways to do the stretch, okay? You can bend the knee and lean forward at the knee. And this is gonna be right here, a soleus stretch, okay? Just right here. Sorry, should I show? Right there. Okay, lean forward with the knee. And then you can straighten your leg. Gastrocnemius stretch right here, the main calf. Lean forward at the hips. All right, let's switch legs. I like to start with my knee bent. Lean forward at the knee. Okay, leg straight. Lean forward at the hip. And back straight. All right, now I wanna do a chest stretch. Okay, so anybody could use their doorway. You could just use a wall, okay? For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna use the wall. So have your arm here at 90 degrees. Have your back straight at all times, okay? And lean forward. This is very important for the posture. A lot of people do push-ups, any kind of chest and they don't stretch, which means that you start to get a rounded shoulder. So have your back straight. Very important to stretch your chest. All right, let's move to another wall. Arm at 90 degrees. Go forward. Breathe. When you breathe, it stretches more. Exhale, releases the tension. Make sure all the time, guys, you drink a lot of water. Prevent cramps, right? Not fun for anybody. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna bring it back down to the floor. You're gonna have your feet 
really wide. And I like to just scoot forward once or twice just to go a little bit wider. Have your back straight and just reach forward as much as you can. Okay, if you can't even reach forward, that's fine. Have your hands on the floor. Uh, I like to use my breast. And when I exhale, go a little bit further into the stretch. Okay, reach forward as much as you can. Okay, I walk my hands over to one side. Ooh, you're gonna feel it all on the inside here. Okay, bring it to the other side. All right, uh, I wanna do a lat stretch. A lot of people are not reaching up all the time to stretch their lats. So I'm gonna use the wall again, okay? I'm gonna have my hands facing each other and just bring your chest forward. You're gonna feel all right here. Great, great posture to stretch. If you want to, you can lean to one side, lean to the other side, breathe, go forward. Okay, great job. So, my last few stretches, I'm gonna do a good old fashioned tricep stretch, one arm straight, hook with your opposite arm across the body, back straight. You're actually gonna feel more in your triceps with your back straight, okay? Having fun? I am. My kids are. <laughs> Bored. All right, switching arms. Okay, one last stretch. Neck stretch, a lot of tight tension in the neck. Okay, so shoulders back and down. You're gonna look your chin down and pull your head to the side. You're gonna feel this all right there. And when you breathe, you're gonna feel the stretch more and more. You can move your chin a little bit more down. Everybody's tight in different places. Look a little bit up. Ah, you're going to feel a little bit more right there. And let me tell you, great for headaches. Anybody that gets headaches, when you have a lot of tightness in your neck, it's going to go straight to the head. Bring your shoulder down, chin down, pull. Forearms. Okay, so one arm straight, I'm gonna push it down. You can feel that right here. Ooh, is it hot in here or is it just me? I don't know. Okay, same thing, like so. You're gonna feel it right there. All right, switch sides, straight. Push your hand down. And palm up, bring it down. All right, thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you like our channel. Thumbs up if you like it. Um, please stay tuned. I'm gonna do other stretching videos, foam rolling videos, and corrective exercises for uh, pigeon toed, for when you have duck feet, all these things, okay, corrective exercise, all right? So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later, bye bye.